Right. Good evening, guys. This is Narayana from Narayan Tech House. So yesterday, in the one of the previous program, we discussed the we discussed the how to count the total number of ovens, right? Yes, guys. As in the fourth fourth program, we discussed the counting total number of ovens, right? Total number of ovens. But let us see one program how to count the occurrences of each oval. Like in the given string, how many times A is there? How many times E is there? How many times I is there? And the O and the U also, guys. Means uh, the fourth program is counting all ovals. Totally, how many ovals are there? But now let us see. Okay, counting the occurrences of each oval, guys. Separately, we will see now. Okay, right. That's what we see now as the sixth program. Right. So write a program, write a program to count the occurrences of occurrences of each oval, each each oval in the given string. Occurrences of each oval in the given string. For example, let's take a string Narayana Tech House Hyderabad. Okay. So in this case, I want a number of A's, how many are there? Number of A's, how many are there? For example, guys, number of A's are maybe six are there, like this. Number of E's, how many are there? Number of E's, maybe uh, around three. Three are there, three are there, for example, like this. Next, number of I's. I want only vowels, right? Number of I's. I think uh, there is no I, right? Then zero. If it's not available at least once also, then zero. Next, number of U's, how many times U is there? I think one time, guys, right? One time U is there. And uh, uh, okay, let's take care O also, guys. Okay, I take now number of times O. How many times available? I think O is available only one time. All right. So here, totally the five vowels and their occurrences, guys. Right, their occurrences. So finally, the result will be in the dictionary format, guys. Let's take in the let's take in the dictionary format. Okay. Yes. For this one, let us try now. Let us try now. So first of all, take the user data, guys, right? So enter, enter any string like this. Enter any string. Let's take, uh, this is the given string, for example, into one variable, some string variable st. So in the result, guys, in the result, what I want now, dict of uh, first a must be there. And uh, I take the by default zero, first of all, initially, I take the all count zero, okay? Then E, how much by default uh, zero? Okay, next one, uh, I, we take the zero by default. Next, O, we take the zero by default. Next, uh, next one, U by default take the zero. So initially I set the dictionary like this, guys. I set the dictionary like this, okay? To set the dictionary like this, first, uh, First, what do I do? I'll take all the vowels into one variable. A, E, I, O, U. A, E, I, O, U, guys. Okay, all of you. We can take the dictionary here, or else we can create the dictionary also like this, guys. Okay, we can take directly one dictionary here. From there, increase the counter. That is one way. Otherwise, uh, create that this dictionary also. We'll create it uh, by using the uh, dict functions. Let us try now. So here I'm taking the all vowels. I'm taking all vowels there, right? All vowels in the V. Now take the one dictionary D equal to, I take empty dictionary. We'll take the empty dictionary. In the dictionary, there is a function called uh, from keys function, guys. For dictionary, one function is there from keys function. From keys of V, from keys of V. What is V? V is the vowels, right? So in this case, what is happening in the empty dictionary, then uh, these are all V characters. 
are creating as a keys in the dictionary that means uh, the result will be like this result will be result will be like this guys let us try now i just print it print of the and observe here so the dictionary will create uh, with all the vowels uh, as keys with all vowels as keys okay uh, one second let me stop this one also yes right all of you guys here so what happened now dictionary created and the check the keys the keys all are the vowels all are the vowels the vowels came from where the vowels came from came from where from this uh, v object right that's why from keys of v from keys of v means uh, from the v i am taking all as a keys in the dictionary and by default what is the value none is the default value for every key but uh, if none is the default value we cannot increase it right we cannot increase it uh, that's why i take the default value zero to get the default value zero we can specify here v comma zero now check it now check it here you can see now all of right for every key the value is zero right the value is zero now what happened here a dictionary with the uh, vowels keys and uh, zero as a value created right vowels uh, as a keys and zero is the default value created right now from the string uh, i'll fetch one by one guys i take in the d what is d d is uh, this dictionary guys allow you just i take this one here uh, so what is the d d means uh, this dictionary right this is the d okay this is the d guys right now uh, like this that is the d now what do i do what do i do here from the string uh, now all of you guys from the string i fetch one by one now i fetch one by one uh, from the string i'll fetch one by one now. i'll fetch one by one from beginning to ending i fetch one by one and i check it whether it's available or not as a key if available increase the count right increase the count so in that way what's first one uh, n is coming check it uh, is n is there not there n a not matching n e not matching n i not matching n o not matching and uh, n u also not matching means n is not there leave it uh. next uh, so next character a yes a is matching a is available then increase the count by one by one right now it will be one guys leave one now. okay uh, next one now. next uh, so what next is there here next r right so r a not matching r e not available not not available means uh, r is not matching anywhere right r is not matching guys fine next what is there a again a, a is matching already count one is there now the count will be two the count will be two like this next uh, again y is coming y is not available anywhere here so leave it while next again a a is available here all count two is there now count will be three means every time uh, increase the count by one increase the count by one okay to get the one by one we use for loop we use for loop to check uh, whether available or not available we use the if condition we use the if condition okay right let me try here so for i in uh, for i in st means st from the st means from the string uh, and fetching one by one so it's first time i value the first time i value is uh, which one uh, any will come right first time i value n uh, i value one guys remember all of you so first time uh, i value is how much now i value is uh, n first time uh, that n uh, i check here how to check here by using membership operators right if that i available in uh, d available in d available in d d means what here d means a uh, dictionary if available then what to do now if available if i is available suppose guys now i is n right i is n i is n n is available not available right it's false so next a is coming right what is i value suppose uh, next a guys just imagine now next a a is coming i value a right i value a now i in d so yes i is available i means what here a 
this i is available if i available for i i increase the value what is i now i is the a so for i increase the value so d of i d of i means what here what is i value currently i value a so d of i means d of a or d of a what is the value zero now here zero coming right zero coming uh, or zero plus one how much here one that one again uh, update here for what here again for a only that's why now i take the d of i like this d of i d of i i repeat so second time uh, a value uh, i value is a a okay a guys here a is coming now what is the i value i value a now d of i means d of a d of what is the value d of a value how much now zero zero plus one one finally here what is there now one is there that one i want place where here only here means what for a only what is a a is the i value right now that's why again uh, d of i so that uh, that one is sent to d of i what is d of i a, i means a a means uh, this one so it becomes a one guys that's all okay ah uh, over next time what is the i value again this loop over this for loop over what is the i value r next time uh, i value r r i value r right now if i in the d i means what r so it is available not available if is false why false r is not available if it is false then don't increase the counter just go here next loop what is i value next one next one a right next one a is coming what coming next one a right already count here one became right it became one already and now a is coming now a is available in d yes or no yes available if available then go inside d of i what is i value currently a so d of a what is d of a value all currently one so one plus one how much two that two replace for same i that's why that two assign to what here again d of i what is d of i a means for d of a i am giving the two that's why now this is the two that's all right ah uh, over again loop over next time what's i value coming here next i value coming uh, suppose y now i value y right now i in d means a uh, y in d true or false or false because in the d as a key y is not there false ah uh, next one uh, next one a coming uh. okay now what's i value now a if i in d what is i a a in d a in d true or false or true true means a uh, start the if block ah uh, d of i what is i where currently a so d of i means d of a what is d of a value 2 now this is the 2 2 plus 1 3 that 3 assign to what again uh, d of a so again uh, it will become 3 like this it becomes a uh, 3 right next one now uh, again uh, uh, n is coming n is coming again if is false uh, again uh, okay again a is coming again a is coming a right a is available if is true d of a what is the current value 3 is there now 3 plus 1 4 for assign to again d of a what is d of a d of i ah uh, d of a i right ah uh, uh, again assign the which one now uh, four guys now it comes four okay next uh, loop over right after a what is there now space coming i value space space in the d false now space also no use ah uh, next one uh, t t is coming t also not available false next uh, e e is coming right okay next e is coming what is the i value now e e in d true or false uh, as yes, true if it is true then d of i what is i value currently e so d of e d of e is what uh, zero a uh, zero plus 1 how much now 1 okay this is the one assign to what uh, d of i what is i same e only right currently i is the e now this one uh, assign to d of i means e it becomes a uh, one like that next one uh, uh, c coming uh, but if is false uh, h coming if is false uh, because in the d h is not there again space is coming space is coming uh, 
again no use next h is coming house h is coming again false next o is coming what is the value now o right o is coming guys now what is the value o if o in d true or false yes o is there true if true then d of o what is d of o currently d of o what is current value zero zero plus one how much now one i said again d of o that the one na the zero plus one one na sent to d of o so it will be the which one here one that's all okay ah uh, next one na u is there again u is coming what's the value u u if u in d true or false or true now d of u what's u value currently p value zero uh, zero plus one na one na i sent to what here again d of u so now u becomes a uh, one guys u becomes one okay uh u yes of uh, if is false again e is coming house right e is coming ah uh, now what's the i value i value is the e okay now uh, e in d true or false or true then d of e what is d of e value one so one one plus one two assign to d of e so now two assign to d of e that's all next up space is there space over like that guys okay hyderabad so h, h is there h will h is the false y is the false next d is the false next e is coming okay e is coming here uh, e in the d true d of e what's the value d of e e what's the value 2 is there uh, 2 plus 1 3 assign to again d of e becomes 3 like this okay over uh, next uh, d e r again a is coming uh, a is coming right or the value a so a in d true d of a what is the a value 4 now uh, 4 plus 1 now uh, 5 assign to d of i means uh, d of a this is becomes 5 okay and uh, b is coming if it's false again a is coming uh, same it increase the value now a becomes a six value now and last one uh, d d also coming that's all after all over after all iterations uh, i want to display this final dictionary then uh, after for loop uh, we can take print of d that's all we can take the print of t we can try here enter any string uh, i take the same string as let us see i take the same string uh, right how much coming now? Right, observe here. So six is three is i zero, right? Next uh, o is the one and uh, u is the one, guys, right? Same output came. Suppose I don't take the Hyderabad guys, I take only Narayan take house only. Then what happens now? One e count will decrease. One two years will decrease, right? One e will decrease. Uh, means it becomes two, and two years will decrease. Uh, means it becomes uh, four, right? All of you. Now run this one. Uh, run this one. Uh. Anything? Yes. So a is four, e is two, i one zero, o one, u one. That's all. So this is the way. Is the one of the ways uh, to count a uh, number of vowels. Uh, sorry, number of occurrences of each vowel, guys, right? Each vowel occurrences. Uh, okay. Right. Thank you, all of you.